Hi all, my name is Anil Nair. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most powerful concepts in geometry, that is virtual positioning. Before I discuss this method, let us take a problem, solve it in a traditional way, understand why that method is not the best method to solve few problems, then we will explore a new method. Let us take a question. Question. There is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle side is 12 centimeters. In the equilateral triangle, a circle is inscribed. In that circle, an another equilateral triangle is inscribed. The question is, find the ratio of the area of the equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle to the area of the equilateral triangle on which the circle is inscribed. This is the question. Generally, most of the students will try to solve this question like this. There is a triangle. Inside, there is a circle that is inscribed. So, if, the, if there is any circle which touches the sides of a triangle, it is considered to be an in-circle. So, we will find out the in radius of an equilateral triangle. In radius of an equilateral triangle, we will find it out. Then, in that circle, an another equilateral triangle is inscribed. So, for the inside equilateral triangle, that circle which touches all the vertices of a triangle, so that circle will become the circumcircle for the equilateral triangle inscribed in it. Again, we will use the concept of a circumradius. So, we know the formula for in radius of an equilateral triangle and we also know the formula for a circumradius of an equilateral triangle. Then, by using this small r and capital R, we will find the ratio of the area of the equilateral triangle. This is how students will solve this problem. But, if you think for a minute, this question can be solved without using pen on the paper. Let us explore that concept. Before exploring virtual positioning concept, one important observation. Suppose if I take this water bottle, this water bottle has got some volume. Suppose if I shift this water bottle from this point in a plane to this point in a plane, will the volume of the water bottle change? No. Answer will be no. Suppose if I flip this water bottle up and down, will the volume of the water bottle changes? No. That means if you translate a figure from one point to another point or if you rotate a figure from one point to another point, right, the volume or the age, please make a note of this statement, number of integral points of any geometrical figure does not change if I translate the figure or if I rotate the figure. The area of the figure will also not change if I translate the figure or if I rotate the figure. But the value of the integral points will change if I shift from one point to another point that is x equivalent to x plus x dash y equivalent to y plus y dash. If I rotate the figure, the final rotation figure points will become x cos theta minus y sin theta for x, y will be x sin theta plus y cos theta. Now, we will use the concept, just discuss it right now to find out the area. So, what to do is, in an equilateral triangle there is a circle, in that circle there is another equilateral triangle. So, what I will do is, I will flip the equilateral triangle from bottom to top. If I flip this equilateral triangle, please observe the figure. There are total four triangles that are formed. Four triangles that are formed and these four triangles are similar by nature. Why they are similar by nature? Because in an equilateral triangle, every angle will be 60, 60, 60. Outside triangle is 60, 60, 60. 
tangents drawn from an external point are also equal. So if this is, if one side if it is 60, other two will also become 60, 60. Similarly here 60, 60, 60, 60. Inside it is an equilateral triangle that is also 60, 60, 60. Henceforth there are four equilateral triangles. We require the area of the smaller triangle to the total area. Answer will be 1 is to 4. This is how you should think to solve problems in geometry. This virtual positioning concept is used for all convex polygons. The concept discussed in this video cannot be used for concave polygons. Take any two points inside a polygon, try to draw a line. If the line goes outside, then the polygon is said to be a concave polygon. For example, you take a rectangle, you take any two points, draw a line, line lies completely inside. You draw some zigzag figure, maybe something like this. Take any two points. If you get at least one line which goes outside the polygon, then the polygon is said to be a concave polygon. Virtual positioning is one of the oldest concepts in geometry used exclusively for convex polygons. Thank you for watching this video.